The Mavic Mini, apparently a very controversial topic. Many people think it's fake. Now it received approval from the FCC with their equipment authorization. What does that mean and what new details have we learned about the Mavic Mini? All that and more, coming right up. Hey, if we're meeting for the first time, I'm Felix with Quadcopter Guide. On this channel, I help you get the most out of your drones and other filmmaking gear. But the blog, quadcopterguide.com, actually started as a drone rumor blog back in the day. So I'm kind of partial to these kinds of videos and articles. All right, so what do we know so far and what's new about the Mavic Mini? One, it's the name. This confirms the name Mavic Mini. It's not gonna be called the Spark 2. The ultimate goal of this drone is to come in at under 250 grams. This is a critical level in the United States and in many countries across the world where if the drone is under this weight limit, you don't have to register it with the FAA or similar authority. There's gonna be a new style of battery on the Mavic Mini featuring 18650 cells. More on that also coming up. The new battery in the Mavic Mini will be charged in the drone, so you won't have to carry around this huge power brick anymore. The drone features a new flatter pancake style motor and the propellers are screwed right into the motor. So there is not a quick release like we're used to seeing on DJI drones. This was done mainly to save weight. Speaking of motors and propellers, they've been improved to also reduce noise. Because those of you guys with a Spark or Mavic Air, you know how they sound like a pack of angry bees? Yeah, this should help that. And I'm hoping quite a bit. It features a foldable design, which we've kind of come to expect from anything called a Mavic. So it should be a lot more convenient to carry around than the Spark where the legs are just rigid and stick out the whole time. All right, so what's new about this drone? The drone was sent for testing on May 29th. The initial leaks appeared in August. The FCC received the application from DJI on October 3rd, and the application was granted on October 8th. This should mean that we should be seeing this drone as early as this month. Two different test reports were published for the FCC certification. You can read through the extremely detailed documents if you feel like it. It's roughly 100 pages, I think, with all the documents. What I have found interesting while perusing myself, first, the Mavic Mini is the first DJI drone which states this input voltage on the FCC label here. That means that the battery will be charged through the drone itself. So instead of getting that huge power break like for the Mavic 2, which I showed previously, you now just get a USB adapter and that's all that's needed and a USB cable to charge the battery inside the drone. On the label, we see that it's rated for five volt at two amps, nine volt at two amps, and 12 volt at 1.5 amps. Essentially, the five volt range is 10 watts, the nine and 12 come in at 18 watts. On the initial leaked images, you can see the micro USB port and not USB-C. Does that pose a problem with these leaked voltages? Well, actually it doesn't. Qualcomm's Quick Charge 2.0 is actually rated for this kind of voltage and it's capable by delivering it with micro USB. So the port does not have to be USB-C. I wouldn't be surprised if it is one though. It doesn't really make sense to use micro USB, but maybe it's lighter or cheaper to make. The Mavic Mini therefore either uses Qualcomm's Quick Charge 2.0 protocol or the little bit newer USB PD or power delivery profile 2.0, which is meant for tablets, netbooks, and other external peripherals. The battery pack is rated at 7.2 volts, which leads to a two cell battery pack. And since we have the cylindrical shapes on the sides, it is most likely gonna be an 18650 cell powered battery pack. You can check out the article on the blog for more details on that. Now, one very curious point is that in the test reports, I found that the drone is actually capable of running on 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz spectrum. But in the report, it says that, at least for the United States, it'll run only on 5.8 gigahertz. The 2.4 gigahertz will be disabled by firmware. Now, I'm not sure why DJI would do this. Perhaps it will get recertified later. It's very curious, but that's just what the report says. So let's see what happens. Does that sound curious to you too? Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Now, since we do have two reports, ironically, they show a different measurement for the external dimensions of the Mavic Mini. In one of the reports, we have a size that's roughly 29 centimeters by 25 by five and a half of external dimensions. And in the other, we have roughly 17 centimeters by 13 centimeters by 5.5 centimeters. Now here on the screen, you can see what that also means in the Imperial world. Now, as a comparison, the Mavic Air unfolded, it is 17 centimeters by 18 by six centimeters. The Mavic Pro, on the other hand, unfolded is 34 centimeters, excluding the propellers. Now, the only conclusion I can come up with is that the larger diameters on the one report measure at least partial propeller length. All right, so some of my further thoughts on the Mavic Mini. To be considered a Mavic class drone, it has to feature over the Spark better video resolution. So at least 2.7K. Now, we might see 4K and that's fine, but 
on such a small sensor and with such a limited video bandwidth, and by limited I mean I'm sure it's not going to be over 60 megabits per second, which of course, you know, for a smaller drone like this is totally fine, but 2.7K just, it has to be there. Without it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. The extra resolution will be great for either cropping in to get more reach or just to have more detail in your scene. Additionally, the remote control needs to be included in the base bundle. So no drone only and then spend more on the remote control. The remote control needs to be included. Now, speaking of remote control and transmitter, the technology to drive that needs to be better than this Wi-Fi that we've seen on the Spark and the Mavic Air. I just, I'm not a fan of that. The Spark and the Mavic Air, they seem to lose connection quite often for me. Granted, I'm currently in Europe, so the transmission strength is lower than if you're in the United States with the FCC standard. Even so, I really, really hope that this transmission signal or technology that they use is better than just that normal Wi-Fi. It could be an enhanced version of this, that's fine, as long as it works better. Or maybe they even have some old light bridge chips or parts left over from earlier drones like the Mavic Pro that they want to use. Or maybe they came up with an OcuSync light. That would be great too. I just really hope that it's better than what the Mavic Air and Spark have. Now granted, in a tiny drone like this, you can't really see it that far away. So legally, you don't need a five mile signal strength, but it just helps you when there's interference that even if you are in line of sight, you have a solid picture. That's all I want, that's all I want. And the rumored price that's been floating around is $399 US. In terms of launch date, I expect this drone to hit as early as this month. So October, 2019, we might see it a little bit later, but it just makes sense to get it shipped out in October. That way retailers can get them on the shelves for the holiday season this year. So now it's your turn. Let me know what you think about the Mavic Mini in the comments below. I'd really love to get into a conversation with you guys. Would you be interested in this if it doesn't come in at under 250 grams? Which is pretty unlikely at this point, but hey, it might happen. And also make sure you guys turn on notifications because I noticed that sometimes when I reply, you guys don't re-reply. And I think that's just because your notifications aren't set up right. And as always, if this video was helpful, give this video a like. And if you want to see more and get more out of your drones or other camera gear, then be sure to subscribe. And for more on the Mavic Mini, be sure to subscribe to the email list on the blog. That's where I send out more last minute details or updates, of course, on the blog itself, since I can't upload a new video on this all the time. So in the meantime, feel free to peruse some of this other great content on the channel. <laughs> Until next time.